Well, good morning. It's great to be with you today as we start a new week, a new opportunity to come before the Lord with tremendous faith, hope, and love. That means with trust, with confidence, and with delight. The Lord gives us an opportunity to delight in Him no matter the circumstances, to love Him with all of our hearts, even our hearts that are wounded, that are overwhelmed, that are facing obstacles and situations that are beyond our control, where we're powerless, and yet we look to the Lord to say, you're all powerful. You are our powerful God. Let me pray with you. Let me pray for you, along with many others, for all of those situations and needs that you have in your life and in the lives of your loved ones, where you feel overwhelmed by the circumstances and situations that you're facing today. The Lord loves you. He sees you. He is bringing this rosary together live around the world, or whether you're watching it after the fact. He brought us together to turn to Him, to show trust, to show that sense of surrender and entrustment. Yes, Rachel, for you, and for you, Nanette, and for you, Lori, and for you, Mary Grace, and for you, Patti. Thank you, Lord, for you being here, all of you. Thank you, Lord, for Beatrice. And for all that you're doing, Lord, in this rosary, Lord, we say yes to you. And may our yes be a, a tremendous act of surrender to you, Lord our God. Heavenly Father, we entrust ourselves to you through Jesus, freely, completely, and forever in this rosary. And we ask, O oh Lord our God, that you would take over. Guide our prayer for you have stirred this prayer into existence from all eternity, and we say yes to it, Lord. We say yes, to it, Lord, to what you'll be doing in this rosary. And so we call upon the great saints of heaven to be our advocates for Angela and for Jacintha and for Nanette. Oh, Lord, our God, we love you. We love you, Lord. And so, Lord, we ask our Mother Mary and St. Joseph, Mother Mary, open your heart to us, St. Jo uh, Joseph, may your robe of protection be around us. And we do call upon St. Job. We call upon St. Padre Pio. We call upon St. Gemma Galgani. We call upon St. Catherine of Siena and St. Francis. We call upon our patron saints, each and all of them, along with our guardian angels, guardian angels and family guardian angels. Pray with us and for us. Exercise the fullness of your mission and ministry in our regard. Guardian angels, be on the alert. Do not be silent. Do not be still. We love you, Lord. We thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. We come before the Lord today. and We just give him everything, all that we need as we pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And Lord our God, I pray for Marileia. Jesus, I just thank you for her being here and for Angela being here this morning, Lord our God. Lord, I just thank you for Perpetua being here and for Isabel. Lord, I just ask you to hear her, the cries of her heart and for Emmy. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. The Lord loves you. He is taking care of you, each of us and all of us. Thank you, Lord, for Teresa. Jesus, we just give you our families. We give you our hearts. We give you all of those that are in our hearts in every situation that we, pay, we are praying for. Lord, especially those that have, uh, we carry the most deeply and most fully in our hearts. And Lord, we pray the perfect prayer now, the prayer that you taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And Lord, I pray for Caroline and for Ken and Maria this morning. Lord our God, for all these beautiful prayer warriors, these wonderful intercessors, for Rita and for Sheila. Lord our God, I just ask that you would truly come in and take over. Oh, mighty God, come in and take over. Increase our faith, O oh Lord. Along with Elaine Green Miller, we say, Lord, we believe. Help our unbelief. Lord, we entrust ourselves to you. And we say, Jesus, you take over. Jesus, take care of everything. We trust in you. We plunge ourselves into the open heart, your most sacred heart, Lord. And there we cry out that your mercy would encompass us. Your favor, Lord, would go beyond anything that we can do, plan, or strategize. Anything that we can make happen, we entrust into your hands and we seek you out. We seek your power and glory to break forward into our lives, Lord. I just pray that, Lord, for Margaret, and I pray that, Lord, for each and all of your families and special intentions, your children and grandchildren. Thank you, Lord our God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For greater hope, O oh Lord our God, we have confidence in you and in the promises that you've given to us. The Lord has made promises to us, and he's a faithful God. And Lord, we just ask, fulfill your promises in our regard. Lord, be priest, prophet, and king in our lives. Be our good shepherd. Lord, you take over. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And for greater love, Lord our God, may your love break into our hearts, break into the depths of our being, Lord. Open us to receive your love. Ready us to receive your love, O Lord our God, in a new way, at a new depth, at a new level. Lord our God, you take over. You take over, Lord our God. And just may your love flow in us. May your love just encompass us, soak into the depths of our being, and surge within us, O oh Lord, that we would delight in you beyond the circumstances and situations, beyond the crosses, trials, and tribulations. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Today we're praying the five joyful mysteries. This is Tom Curran. Uh, it's great to be with you all here. Lord, I just thank you for... Uh, Cecile being here, and Yvette, and for John being here. Thank you, Lord our God, for each and for all of them, Lord our God. Jesus, I just ask that you take over. You bless this rosary, Lord, in ways that go beyond anything we can imagine. And we pray for Petra as well. And so, Lord our God, I just ask that you would truly bless us, Lord, with every good gift we need. I encourage you to put your comments in the comment box. I'm going to be right back. I've got a dog that's whining, and it's going to wake up everybody in this house. Just give me... 30 seconds. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, the dog is praying with us. Yes, we need to get the dog to not be praying with us. Lord our God, we love you. And I just thank you for who you are and for what you're doing. Lord, we trust you in this first joyful mystery. 
the Lord has joy to bring to us. And so we come before the Lord today and we just say, Lord, we just ask that you would receive these rosaries into your heart. Lord, receive these rosaries into your most sacred heart through the hands and heart of our Mother Mary. Mother Mary, just open us by your beautiful, sweet intercession to receive everything that the Lord is doing today. And so, Lord our God, we just ask today that you'd open our minds and hearts as we pray these joyful mysteries. Lord our God, open our hearts and minds to receive, Lord, all that you're ready to give, all that you're waiting to give. And so, Lord, I pray for Derek post-surgery, for his uh, traumatic brain injury. Lord, I pray for souls in purgatory, conversion of sinners for California and for NJL. Lord, I pray along with Cecile for headaches and backaches. Jesus, I just ask that you continue to bless and restore us each and all with your healing power. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. And I encourage you to share this rosary. Um, on your page, if you'd open to that, help spread the word, spread this so that other people will come and encounter this living prayer. I just want many people to have this encounter with the living Lord who loves us, and he willed and designed this rosary from all eternity. What we're praying right now, he has awaited in his heart and is now unfolding, and we're part of the unfolding of the heart of God for this today, for this moment, for all who will touch this rosary. The Lord has designed a blessing. He's designed a, a, a moment of communicating his nearness, his presence and power. And so, Lord, we just want to be caught up in that. We want to say yes to you, Lord, for all that you're doing in this rosary. And so we pray the five joyful mysteries. The first joyful mystery is the Annunciation. And Lord, our God, announce great things over our lives. Lord, announce good things over our lives, Lord over all that is happening here, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord our God, for who you are and what you're doing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And Lord, I pray for Louis and for Caroline and Perpetua. Thank you, Jesus, for your healing power, for your restoring power. Thank you for your protection, Lord, for Ampelia um, um, and for Victor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, I just pray for our special intentions. Jesus, for our family members, our grand, uh, and Pelia's grandson, for special intentions for Patricia, and for Agni, Agnes being here. Thank you, Lord, for bringing these beautiful, sweet intercessors together from around the world. Lord, open us to receive what you're ready to give. And Lord, open us to the grace of surrender in a new way, to entrustment in a new way. Lord, to be open to receive an announcement of good things, of blessings on our lives, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, just give us the grace to allow what you're doing to just wash over us and soak into us. Thank you, Lord our God. Thank you, Jesus. Holy God, we love you. Holy God, we praise you. Holy God, we love you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, I pray for Hermione, uh, along with Nanette. Jesus, I pray for Rose Mercy, along with Perpetua. I thank you, Lord, for Brenda being here. Jesus, I just pray that you'd increase our fervor and devotion. Lord, stir into flame our hearts and our souls. Lord, wash away the distractions. Take away the obstructions. Free us from the bondage. Lord, set free us in this rosary to glorify you, to worship you, to love you, Lord, as you deserve. And we pray in accord with the um, beautiful, sweet intention of our Blessed Mother Mary at Fatima, Mother Mary, please pray. 
uh, receive our rosaries as our uh, beautiful daily rosary for poor sinners who are near to death but far from God. There are people who will die this day. There are people who will die during this rosary. And we don't know the spiritual condition of them, but some may be in a place of spiritual death like Lazarus, but spiritually dead in a tomb of their own making through mortal sin. And they're spiritually dead even as they approach natural death. And we pray a beautiful prayer of intervention, of salvific intervention. We pray prayers, these rosaries offered as reparation and penance for these poor sinners, that they'd be freed from facing judgment in a state of spiritual death. And so we pray, O oh Lord our God, roll away the stone. Roll away the stone, Jesus, through these rosaries. Through the hands and heart of our Mother Mary, we offer them for the salvation of poor sinners. Roll away the stone, Jesus, and call them out of spiritual death in their final moments. Grant them that grace of final conversion in their final moments on earth. Holy God, we love you. Holy God, we praise you. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord Jesus knows your heart's cry, Cecile and Patti and Rachel and Brenda. The Lord knows your heart's cry, and Pelia and uh, Angela, and each and all of you, the Lord knows your heart's cry. He knows what brings you here as a burden, a burden to love and praise and thank our God, but a love and a burden to bring your loved ones before the throne of grace with the great heavenly intercessors coming before Jesus and saying, Lord Jesus, please receive this offering of our loved ones, the offering of the situations we face, the offerings of our pain and our suffering, the offerings of our health, our finances, our well-being, our welfare, people who have power today that make decisions in our lives that impact us greatly. Lord, we pray for grace and favor. We pray for mercy and breakthroughs. Lord, we pray that you'd unbind and set free situations that are holding back, O oh Lord our God, favor and flourishing in our lives and in the lives of our loved ones. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord Jesus, I just pray for uh, uh, Maurice, uh, Mauricio. Jesus, I just ask that you would truly take care and take over in Melanie's life. Lord our God, we pray along with Veronica uh, for her friend who lost her beloved mother. Lord our God, I just pray for the conversion of uh, politicians, especially Catholic politicians, that they would come back to the fullness of the faith and how they exercise their political power. I pray for uh, Nancy Pelosi and Joe Biden. And I pray for any and all of your political leaders who profess faith in Christ or the Catholic faith. Oh, Lord our God, hear our hearts cry. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Lord our God, we love you. We praise you and thank you for the gift of this rosary. Stir, Lord, the graces we need to pray well. Lord, uh, may Feli pray well and, and Rachel and Gabriel and Pinky. Lord, give us the grace to pray well and Rose Mercy. Lord, give us that grace to pray well. As we pray, the second joyful mystery is the mystery of visitation. We beg, we're going to cry out to the Lord for the gift of visitation. The Lord visited his people. He visited Elizabeth and Zechariah, two individuals personally. He visited them and John the Baptist in the womb of Elizabeth. 
And he visited them because the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph took the journey. They brought Jesus to them. They brought Jesus. The Blessed Mother and St. Joseph brought Jesus to Elizabeth and Zechariah. Today we ask Jesus and we ask Joseph and Mary to bring us to Jesus. Please bring us to Jesus. Please bring all of our intentions to Jesus. Please bring all of our needs. Mother Mary, St. Joseph, Padre Pio, St. Rita the Wonder Worker, St. Jude, the Worker of Miracles of Desperate Cases, St. Gemma Galgani, great intercessors before the throne of grace. Please carry us to Jesus. Carry us to the open heart of Jesus. And we just say, be the mighty conquering God, conquering all situations in our lives where we're powerless and out of control, where we need a visitation of divine power, kingdom breakthroughs to set us free. Thank you, Lord our God. Thank you for what you're doing in our lives. Thank you for what you're doing in this rosary. Thank you for mighty visitations, O Lord our God. Mighty visitations, Lord. Lord, we empty ourselves. We empty out our hearts like uh, Mary Magdalene breaking open the alabaster jar and just letting that oil flow upon your head. We wash your feet with our tears. We love with all the love of our hearts, Lord, but our love is weak. Our love is poor. Our love is minimal, Lord, but we come before you with all that we have and we cry out, take over, Jesus, and visit us. Visit us at our point of desperate crying need and take over. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And Lord, I just bring before you the heart's cry of Patti and, and Caroline and Norma and Maria. Thank you, Lord our God, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord our God, that you establish your redemptive power and your lordship over our lives, over our relationships, over our decisions. Lord, you redeem what is broken and lost. You redeem what was unwise. Lord, you bring wisdom and redemption to our lives because you are merciful and mighty. And I thank you for that, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Visit us, your people, Lord. Visit us, your people, in this second joyful mystery. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord our God, we just claim your victory. We claim your redemptive power. We just say yes to you, Lord. And Lord, we just surrender. We entrust. We just give ourselves to you. And Lord, we just pray that your grace is enough for us in the right now moment of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Thank you, Lord, our God, for who you are. Thank you, Lord, our God, for what you're doing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, our God, I just love you. I just ask that you'd visit those who are praying today, who are physically suffering, who have conditions that we lift before you, Lord our God, of physical suffering. I just pray, Lord, for Angela and Patricia, for Cecile, Lord our God, for each and all of the dear ones, Lord, uh, for Elaine, Lord, for them that, that struggle with any condition that brings them suffering and pain in their hearts and their minds and their bodies and carries them, Lord, into wounded places. And Lord, I just pray that you would be a divine physician and that your spirit would be a beautiful consoler, Lord, giving us the grace that you're with us and that you're shepherding us through any passion that we're facing through to resurrection. Thank you, God, for what you're doing. Thank you, Jesus, for taking over. Thank you, Lord our God, for your mercy and your favor. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, we love you. We praise you and thank you. Lord, we ask for favor and mercy as we pray. We ask, Lord, for grace. We ask for strength. Lord, we ask that you would take over. You take care of everything, Lord. We love you. Visit your people, Lord. Visit us at our point of deepest need. Visit us, Lord, at those places of pain, at those places of blockage in our lives. And I ask, Lord, for favors that go beyond what we could imagine. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you for the good things that you pour into our lives. The Lord has visited us with faith, with family, with friends. He's given us so many beautiful good gifts in our lives. He's given us the gift of the Eucharist, the gift of confession. Thank you, God. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you for all that you've done for us. Lord, we come before you with grateful hearts saying, Thank you, Lord our God. We love you, Lord. Thank you, Lord our God, for etavise. Thank you, Tina, for your beautiful prayer for me. Thank you, Lord our God, for each and all of these dear ones who join together in prayer. Lord, I just pray that you would hear their hearts' cries. Hear their hearts' cries, oh Lord our God. Lord, we love you. Lord, we ask that you take over. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell. Lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Today we're praying the five joyful mysteries. The third joyful mystery is the birth of Jesus. We're going to pray that Jesus comes and is born into this rosary, into our lives, into every circumstance that you're facing, into the loved ones' lives that you're praying for, into the midst of this rosary to unbind it and set it free, to bring to birth something beautiful and glorious that would honor the Father, that would set us free to show God's glory and his majesty to the world, to do a beautiful work. And we just thank the Lord for a beautiful work. Come, O Lord our God, come and expand and extend this rosary for your glory. Lord, come and be born on this platform in this moment, Lord, as we pray, so that you would be glorified, Lord, in all that happens here. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Lord, we just give you permission to take over. Lord, you take over. Thank you, Jesus. So I encourage you to put your prayer requests into the comment box. Share this rosary on your page so that others would come and pray. Tag your loved ones that would also come to this rosary. They can watch it after the fact. Whether you're praying live or you're praying this as a recorded rosary, trust that the Lord sees and knows at every moment every single person who will touch this rosary that each of you would come to know in the moment that you hear it, in the moment that you see it, in the moment that you participate, the living presence of the Lord our God, that miracles would come, that signs and wonders would break through, break in and break open. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Jesus, for your miracles. Thank you, Lord, for David. Thank you, Jesus, for what you've done in Elaine's life. Thank you, Lord, for Gemma. Thank you for Dinesh, O oh Lord, for each and all of my brothers and sisters in Christ who are here around the world. Oh, Lord, we come before you and we cry out, be born into our lives today. Be born into the right now circumstances of our lives. Come, O oh Lord, our God, as a victorious Lord. Lord, we humbly pray, come as a conquering Lord to sever uh, any brokennesses, to sever any bondage, to, se to sever any situations that are threatening our lives, that are overwhelming our lives, in our finances, in our jobs, in our decisions, in our memories, in our relationships, in our workplace. 
Oh, Lord our God, come and take over and be born into them all as we trust to you. We entrust ourselves to you. And great saints of heaven, intercede and pray for us and with us. And Lord, we bring before you all of those circumstances and situations, Lord, where we were not wise, where we failed, where we failed to be attentive and alert, where we failed in our discernment, where we failed in our decision, where we failed in our omission. Lord our God, we were, what was right was crowded out. What was right was forced out. What was right was avoided. Lord, we come before you as broken children, broken sons and daughters, in broken circumstances and situations, and we cry out, be our Redeemer. Be our miraculous saving, Lord. Bring life out of death in all of those circumstances that we place before you right now. We just give them to you, each and all. I just encourage you to give all of those circumstances in your life where you're feeling a sense of, I failed, I failed, I failed. And, and so I'm asking the Lord to redeem a failure, to rescue a broken decision, to, uh, to bring healing, to resurrect a situation that has become dead because of our own sin, our neglect, our, our lack of attention, our lack of care, our lack of noticing. We fall short each and every day. And so we cry out, Jesus, you be the redeeming Lord. You be the God who comes and is born into these circumstances. Lord, we are not like the innkeeper. We don't crowd you out, but we welcome you in. And we cry out, Lord, in each of those special places in our lives, Lord, where we have shortcomings, where we have fallen short, come as the redeemer. Show yourself victorious, Lord. Show yourself victorious. And so I present those shortcomings in my life before you, Lord, through the hands of our Mother Mary and Padre Pio and St. Rita and St. Jude and St. Thomas, St. Anthony and St. Paul, St. Catherine and St. Joseph, all these great saints and guardian angels and family guardian angel. I present myself and my circumstances and decisions to you, O oh Lord Jesus, and I say redeem, take over, set free. And I pray that for you as well. I pray that for each of you, dear ones, live or recorded, Lord, you take over. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And just let that wash over you. Just rest in that. Soak into that. Just real, uh, be experience that sense of the Lord coming in and taking over, moving through our powerlessness with his power, moving through our desperation like the widow to the judge, asking for favor, asking for favor. Lord, we knock on the door. We ask and seek as you ask. And we say, you take over. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord our God, I just ask that you take over in Suzanne's life and Perpetua's life. Lord our God, I just thank you for each and all of my brothers and sisters who are here. I ask that the Lord would lay his hand upon you right now. I ask, Lord Jesus, be near to them with your power. Be, be near to them with a hand that saves, that sets, free, that sets free. Thank you, Lord, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, I pray for, I pray for those that uh, each and all of you, all of us here, and all those that will ever watch this rosary, that are feeling overwhelmed by our work situation, overwhelmed by a life situation and circumstance, and you're feeling anxious and afraid, nervous and panicked. You're feeling overwhelmed or weighed down. You're feeling a wound a wound of fear. I just lift you before the Lord. I just pray, Lord, wash over us with your holy fire. Stir within us your holy fire, stirring within us faith, hope, and love that you, Lord, are on our side. You are our great advocate and our good shepherd and that you take over. Thank you, Lord our God. 
Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, for all those times that we've been like the innkeeper, who, when we received the knock on the door of our lives, and you were, were, were ready to come and be born into the midst of us, you were ready to come with the Blessed Mother and St. Joseph, with the great saints of heaven, and come into our lives in new ways. And we crowded you out. We said there was no room. There was no room. And so you had to be born into the broken circumstances of our lives. We cry out, have mercy on us, Lord. We are so sorry. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us for the dispersion in our lives that made us neglect you, made us avoid what we ought to have been doing, wasting time, wasting life energy, wasting the gifts and goodness that you've given to us. Oh, Lord, valuing the wrong things, choosing other things over you. Oh, holy God, have mercy on us. We repent. Have mercy on us. We repent. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord, we love you. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we praise you. Lord, we ask that you would come and come and set us free. Set this rosary free with your, the fire of your Holy Spirit. Release within us the gifts and graces already given to us in baptism and confirmation. And Lord, we ask, O oh Holy Spirit, come and baptize us, Jesus, in your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit of Pentecost, be released within us in new ways with that holy fire, with the glory of God. Make us like the burning bush in our prayer. Make us consumed with your glory, O Lord, consumed with your majesty, O Lord, consumed with you above all things, O Lord. You take over. Lord Jesus, set us on fire and release within us the gifts and graces of expectant faith, a faith that is truly alert to your movement, O Lord, that gives us an awareness of how your spirit is moving and that gives us the fervor and devotion to pray and to see the exercise of the gift of miracles, the gift of healing, the gift of uh, expectant faith, of an, a, a, an enlarged faith that ready to see you move with your kingdom come, with signs and wonders and deeds of power, with deeper discernment of spirit, words of knowledge and prof prophetic words. Oh Lord, release those gifts within us and within this rosary. Thank you for what you're doing, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh Lord, we love you, and we praise you, and thank you. And Lord, I ask that you truly bless those that are just coming on to this rosary right now, the Lord, that you would know the Lord brought you here to bless you, that he loves you and sees you, and that he wants to move in your regard, open to him, open to him. Lord our God, we just love you that we can gather together around the world and bring before you an offering of praise and worship, an offering of thanksgiving for all the good gifts and the mercies you pour upon this world. And we pray, Lord, that you'd save this poor world, save and redeem us, O Lord our God. Jesus, come quickly into our lives, into our worlds, into our situations, Lord. Come as a mighty Savior. Come as a mighty warrior. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, I pray for the people with head conditions. I pray, Lord, for those with traumatic brain injuries, especially for Derek. I pray for Josh. I pray for, for myself with the concussion that I had. Lord, I pray for restoration for each and all who've had uh, concussions. Lord, those that have had um, uh, strokes. Lord, I just pray for diminished impacts and recovery, Jesus. Lord, I pray for those that have epilepsy and those that have um, uh, fainting um, spells, those that have uh, chemical imbalances, uh, genetic abnormalities those that have mental diminishment through ALS, Parkinson's, or dementia. I pray for, Lord our God, those that struggle with autism, 
uh, or that are on the spectrum. Lord our God, I pray for those that have any kind of mental illness, Lord. Jesus, I just pray for those that are struggling with borderline personality or narcissistic personality conditions. Jesus, I just ask that you would truly come and bless those, Lord our God, that are, are struggling today to love and walk with and care for those that have any form of uh, mental diminishment or mental impact, brain impact on their lives. Lord Jesus, may your precious blood flow on us each and all to give us strength and favor, to give us recovery and restoration, to give us a good day today. Oh, Lord, I pray for those with PTSD, those that are struggling, Lord, as a result of uh, military service, uh, sexual assault, tragic happenings, uh, unexpected happenings in their lives that traumatize them, or the wounds, the traumatic wounds that come from uh, events in their lives and, and happenings in their lives that are overwhelming. Lord Jesus, I just ask that you get to the root of those things at the cellular level, at the brain chemical level, at the level of the memories and imagination, at the level of the emotions and appetites. I pray, Jesus, that you just unbind and set free, wash over and set free. May your precious blood soak into each and every one of our lives and our loved ones' lives that we're praying for that face these conditions, Jesus. Lord, those that are schizophrenic, those that are bipolar, those that are clinically depressed, those with any form of psychosis or, uh, or neurosis, those that are struggling with anxiety, those that are struggling with panic attacks, Lord, those that are, are being shut down by the circumstances of life and by their inner wounds. Lord, I pray for AJ. Lord Jesus, I pray for Anne Marie. Jesus, I pray for Connie. Jesus, I pray for uh, Francesco. Oh, Lord, you take over. Unbind and set free and take over, Lord. I pray for um, uh, Sierra. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. Lord, we love you, thank you, and praise you for who you are and what you're doing. Lord, I pray that you would take over, you would come and bless, you would come and set free. Oh, holy God, come and do a mighty work in our lives today, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for what you're doing. Thank you, Lord, for who you are. Lord, I just ask that you come and bless, unbind, and set free. We pray now the fourth joyful mystery, the presentation. And we're going to present before the Lord our marriages, our families, our children and grandchildren, our life circumstances, the vocations, the mission that each of us has in, on earth and our loved ones as well, that the Lord would come in and that he would truly make it holy that he would bring holiness, reconciliation, and restoration into all of these circumstances in our lives. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you're doing. Lord, I pray for Kevin and Erlette and for Lori. I pray for Stephen and Vivian and Grant. I pray for a Maria's 11-year-old granddaughter with anxiety and panic attacks. Oh, God, have mercy. Have mercy on our families, Lord. Jesus, you just you love our family so much. You know what we're going through. You know our situation and circumstances. The Lord has not left you abandoned. He's not left you alone. He's not ignoring you. Oh, holy God, I just pray for Vanessa, for the places in her life that are broken. I pray for Jesse. I pray for Aaron, for justice for Aaron, Lord our God, that he'd be unbound and set free, Lord, from the prisons that he's in. Oh, Jesus, mercy. It's just we're going to present all our loved ones. And I just present you with all of your loved ones into the hands and heart of our Lord. Whether you're with me now live or whether you're watching this after the fact, the Lord knows each and every one of you that will ever pray this rosary. And I thank you for that, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, Lord our God. Mercy for Carl Judd. Mercy for Michelle, who also passed away a couple of days ago. Oh, Jesus, I just pray that you were with them at the last we were with them in their final moments, Lord. And those would be moments of salvation, moments of grace, moments of rescue. Holy God, we love you. I pray for Terry, for that same grace who also died a couple of weeks ago. Jesus, for sa saving mercies upon her. 
Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And the Lord knows, he knows exactly what you're carrying in your heart and your life. He knows exactly what you need. And so, Lord, we just come before you with trust, with confidence, and with delight. And, Lord, we delight to entrust ourselves into your hands, even as we ask, seek, and knock with vigor and vigilance. Lord, we bring before you all of our lives, our loved ones, our circumstances and situations, those places of bondage, woundedness, and stuckness, those places where things are out of control and we're facing a lot at stake. And so, Lord our God, we ask that you would take over. Jesus, we abandon ourselves and entrust each and every detail of our lives into your hands. Take care of everything. Take care of it with your lordship and your redeeming power, your ability to bring victory, Lord. Lord, give us a sign. Give us a sign of the victory that is already over our lives. Thank you, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord Jesus, I just ask that you would come. You would come and set free as we present to you all that we are and all that we have. I present to you, Abba Father, through, with, and in Jesus, a bold prayer, an urgent prayer, and a confident prayer for each and all of my brothers and sisters that are praying with me right now and for all of their loved ones that we present to you right now, for ourselves in every circumstance and situation that you know, Lord, that we carry on our hearts, we carry in our lives. Heavenly Father, Abba, Daddy, Father, in Jesus' holy name, I come before you with confidence and boldness. I come before you, Abba, Father, and I cry out, we need to see your fatherly hand of almighty power, almighty mercy, to come and to sever any connection to broken circumstances, to situations that seem stuck, that seem impossible to address, that seem closed off from any redemption. And I pray, Abba, Father, that you would come with your almighty power and your shocking generosity. And I just come, not alone, but through, with, and in Jesus, I come before you with St. Matilda of Magdeburg, St. Therese, St. Rita the Wonder Worker, St. Jude, for desperate cases, St. Padre Pio, and especially our Mother Mary and St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. With this great cloud of witnesses, we come, Abba Father, to you, and we say, Abba Father, show us who you are by how you move in our regard. You are our great provider, and you are our provision to come and do what we can't, to move where we are uh, powerless, to come and do a mighty work that far overwhelms our circumstances, that far overcomes the things that we see as blocked and impossible. Come, Abba Father, and do mighty miracles, work wonders and signs, and make us uh, people who give testimony to how you open doors that are, are seemingly not even there that you bring us into circumstances that, that we have no way of getting to apart from you. Give us, O oh holy God, the grace to receive what you are giving, what you have already given, what you will unfold before us today. Give us that grace of testimony to witness with great gratitude, with praise in advance, thanking you in advance for what you're doing, for all that you're doing, Abba, Father. Abba, Father, for your many miracles and blessings, for your many signs and wonders, for opening locked doors, 
for bringing us to doors in our finances, in our economic condition, in our jobs, in our employment, in our marriages, in our kids' lives, in our grandchildren's lives, in the names of those that we present into your open heart, into you, O ocean of mercy, encompass us with your mighty mercy. Come and do a mighty work, Abba, Father. Oh, far overwhelm us beyond what we can imagine. Overwhelm us. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, I pray for new connections, new opportunities, new open doors, new situations to unfold that are signs of your favor, of your generosity, of your care in every dimension of our lives. Thank you, Lord. And we continue to surrender into your hands those situations and needs that weigh us down today, that burden us today, that make us fearful, that make us vulnerable, that make us feel a wound, that make us feel so uh, anxious and afraid and stressed out. Lord, we entrust them, all those people and situations and needs, into your open heart, Jesus, into your merciful heart, Jesus, and through you to Abba, Father, to you, the ocean of mercy, come and encompass us with your mighty mercy. Do what's impossible. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. O oh, Lord, we love you. Yes, we just receive from you. We receive from you today, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. And we pray today the, the fifth joyful mystery, which is the uh, finding of the child Jesus in the temple. And so we just long to find the Lord when we feel like he's lost from view, he's lost from our lives, he's lost from our journey that we're on, that we seek him now. We ask him now to come to our families, to come to our marriages, to come to our homes and our lives, to come to those who are in desperate need in this world. Lord, come to Joseph Marcos in prison. Come to our family, Lord. Come to Patti, Lord, that her tax money will come in. Jesus, break open that situation, Lord. Break open each and all of these dear one situations, Lord, to be the provider beyond what human beings can do. Lord, give us the grace to know when to step forward, what to say, and when to step back, and when to await. Thank you, Lord our God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We trust in you. As we pray the fifth joyful mystery. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen.
And Lord our God, I just thank you and praise you for all the ways that you have provided for us in the past. You're a faithful God, and you have shown us your shocking generosity throughout our lives. I have so many testimonies of the Lord shocking me with his generosity beyond anything I could have expected, beyond any way that I could have planned, opening doors that I just could not have imagined. And the Lord came through. The Lord brought me through. He brought my family through. Personal situations, marriage situations, family situations, financial situations. And so, Father, I say do it again because of who you are, not because of who I am. Do it again because of your great power and mercy, because of your providential loving care, because we ask, seek, and knock in Jesus' name, and we call upon you to make of us signs and wonders, to make of us someone who give witness and testimony to who you are and what you do. And I pray that for you now. I pray that for you, dear brothers and sisters, who feel God is on the sidelines, who feel God is stuck, who feel, uh, like, feel like you're stuck, and that, Lord, uh, we just ask that you would be the Redeemer, Lord, that was setting the slaves free. Set us free, O oh God. You've paid the price through your cross. Lord, may your resurrected grace be at work. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And Lord, I pray for Makafui and for Joshua. Lord, I pray that you would truly bless marriages, each and every marriage that is here represented by you, by your loved ones. I pray for widows and widowers. I pray for, for you that your loved ones would be truly in, uh, in the heart of God, uh, safe at home in heaven. I pray for those of you that have marriages that are, that are for the places of woundings that are in your marriages and in mine, those places where we hurt each other through our speech, through our words, through our deeds, through our inactions, through our history, through our present. I ask Jesus, cleansing blood, cleansing, Lord. I ask for severing any connections, Lord. Jesus, 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 have mercy. Jesus, have mercy. Jesus, I just ask that you take over. I just thank you, Ken and Maria. That's a beautiful word. We are crying out like the blind man Bartimaeus. We are just powerless. We're on the side of the road, and we just rely on mercy. And Jesus is passing by this moment. And there are many voices, like the voices of the apostles, that tell us to be quiet when Jesus is passing by. And yet we can cry out, like Bartimaeus, Son of David, have pity on me. Son of David, have mercy on me. Son of David means the bringer of healing, salvation, and wholeness, the bringer of freedom new life, and salvation. That was the Son of David is the title of the Messiah. And so, Jesus, you're passing by this moment, and we say, don't pass us by. Lord, we're crying out, we're crying out again, together with the angels and saints, together with our guardian angels, our family guardian angels, and the great saints of heaven, our mother Mary and Saint Joseph, Saint Padre Pio, and all these beautiful saints we're calling upon just to come before the throne of grace, storm the throne of grace with us, Present us to Jesus, and we cry out, Cana miracles. Lord, turn water into wine, the best of wine, Lord. And Lord, we do pray, just like, uh, uh, like Bartimaeus. Lord, we're blind to the ways that you can be at work, but we cry out, have mercy, Son of David. Be the bringer of healing, salvation, and wholeness to our lives. And Jesus stopped. He, Jesus had us be brought near, and we are being brought near now as we have found the Lord. The Lord has found us in this moment, and he is with us in this moment. He is saying to us right now, what do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Believe that, that the Lord is saying to you, what do you want me to do for you? And Bartimaeus said, I want to see. Bring all of the faith in your heart, all of the trust, all of the confidence, all of the delight that you are in the presence of the Lord. And speak to him the answer in your own voice, in your own way. Lord, this is what I want to do for you. This is what I want you to do for me. This is what I want you to do for my family. This is what I want you to do for my father, for my wife, for my mother, for my children, for my husband, for my grandchildren, for my finances, for my work situation, for my, my own health, for my life. Lord, this is what I want you to do for me. Lord, I, this, you, know what, you know what's in my heart today, Lord. You know what's in the heart, in my heart right now. 
And Lord, please take over that circumstance. You bring a breakthrough. You bring a breakthrough, Lord, where I can't make one happen. You make it happen, Lord. You find a way, show the way, lead the way, Lord. And I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And I pray for Carrie, for uh, Carrie, Carrie your, for your father undergoing another heart procedure. Lord, bless the hands of the doctors caring for them. And Jesus, be the divine physician in the room. Lord, I do pray for protection upon our children and grandchildren, relatives and friends from any kind of harm or danger, along with Philly. I pray that for you and with you, Philly, along with so many others. Jamie, I do pray for healing of mind, body, soul, and spirit for your son and for each and all of our children, especially those, Lord, that you know most desperately need it. Lord, provide a way. Lord, show the way. Lord, I pray for Talitz, Hamal. Lord, you know what Talitz needs. The Lord brought you here to bless you, to, to move in your life in a way that you can't imagine right now. And I say thank you, Lord, for doing that. Open yourself to him. Just say, Lord, I open myself to you. I don't even know what it means, but I say, please help me. Help me right now. Help me in that part of my life where I'm ashamed, where I'm afraid, where I'm guilty. I don't know why you'd want to answer my prayer, but I still cry out to you. Help me, Lord, have mercy. Have mercy. Show me your favor. I don't deserve it. Thank you, Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I pray for Rita's brother battling lung and colorectal cancer. O oh Lord, help Cecile right now. Jesus, I just pray for Patti's daughter, Patti, to guide her on the right path. O oh Lord our God, just bless her. Bless Mary. Just bless her, Lord our God. I just ask that you bless her. She's had a difficult life, Jesus. Lord, open our eyes to see you, to see you at work, to welcome you into our lives beyond what we can imagine, beyond what we deserve, beyond what we expect. Thank you, Lord. We say yes. Fill us to overflowing. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. I pray for Justin for healing and recovery after his operation. And Lord, I pray for each and all of those that are with me right now, that hear my voice, that see this video live or after the fact, that, Lord, your glory would rule and reign in their lives, in each of our lives, Lord our God. Lord, manifest like a, a beautiful uh, wellspring welling up. Lord, your mighty mercy, your divine providence, your care for our lives, your redeeming power, come, O oh Lord our God, in every dimension of our lives, for every circumstance and need. We come to you and we say glory to you, Lord. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O oh, my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, lead all souls to heaven, especially those who have most need of thy mercy. And Lord, I pray to intervene for Julianne, and Lord, I pray for Chanda and Lucia who are here, and for each and all of you that are here. We pray now a, a prayer of spiritual protection and deliverance from any demonic activity coming against our lives in our loved ones' lives that we pray with authority. And I pray this with you and for you. In his name and by the power of his cross and blood, 
I ask and we ask Jesus to bind any evil spirits, forces, and powers of the earth, air, fire, or water, of the netherworld, and the satanic forces of nature. By the power of the Holy Spirit and by his authority, I ask and we ask Jesus Christ to break any curses, hexes, or spells and send them back to where they came from, if it be his holy will. And I beseech and we beseech thee, Lord Jesus, to protect us by pouring thy precious blood on us and upon our, fam our families, our family members, over whom we pray with authority, with that God-given authority, our parents, our siblings, our spouses, our children, and our grandchildren, and all of their family members, all of the places where they dwell this day, their homes, all of our finances, all of our homes, our vehicles, the places where we'll travel this day, all of our pasts, our present, and our future, all of our and our children's and grandchildren's vocations and missions. Lord, all that we are and all that we have under the protective, precious blood of Jesus, which you shed for us, and I ask and we ask you to command that any departing spirits leave quietly without disturbance and go straight to thy cross to dispose of as thou sees fit. And I ask and we ask thee to bind any demonic interaction, interplay, or communications. I place and we place all of our loved ones, those that are most in need of the mercy of the Lord, those situations and circumstances in our lives that are most bound up and stuck, where we're the most out of control, vulnerable, and in a place of powerlessness. We give them all to you, Jesus. We place them all, all of our loved ones, and all of those most pressing and urgent needs under the protection of the precious blood of Jesus, which he shed for us. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To thee do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, O most gracious Advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant we beseech thee that while meditating upon these mysteries of the most holy rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, that we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for his well-being and for his growth and holiness, along with all of our bishops, priests, and deacons throughout the world, all who share in the sacrament of holy orders. Lord, watch over them and hear the heart's cry, the petitions of our Holy Father. And Mother Mary, I just ask that you receive any indulgence that comes to me to dispose of as you see fit. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me, and I have a question. Please let me know in the comments. I have a question for you. I'm praying at 6 in the morning Pacific time right now. Right now it's just after 7 in the morning. I'm thinking about moving the prayer time, and I want to know, will you be able to make it at that new time? I'm thinking about either four in the afternoon, so that would be nine hours from now, nine hours from now at four in the afternoon Pacific time. Does that time work for you? I'm wondering if more people would be available if we prayed at four in the afternoon Pacific time, or 10 p.m. at night. So that would be in, let's see, 15 hours from now. 
15 hours from now. Uh, can those times uh, make it for you? So 4 in the afternoon or 10 p.m. at night. I really want to know. I want to make this rosary as available as possible to as many people as possible live as well as after the fact. And so I'm just trying to discern the timing that works the best. Okay? Thanks for letting me know. God bless you guys. I love you. I thank you so much for praying with me, praying for me. I just ask a hundredfold blessing upon all of you that do such an amazing job of praying for others, bringing your heart, your devotion, and your urgency into this a beautiful rosary as a work of the Lord. It's God's work. We just want to be part of it. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much.